Oh, good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today is July 13, 2022. I hope I'm correct. <laughs> so uh, today is Wednesday and the gardener just came and then it's my turn to do my video. So welcome back to my channel. This is Jonah from Crops and Succulents. So what you're seeing here is the Calais that I purchased the other day in <laughs> St. Garfield Nursery. Is it the other day? Okay, let's continue. I just checked. Yeah, it's last July 11, which I purchased in St. Garfield Nursery with a Calais view. So this is uh, the Calais. I just got only two varieties, but uh, two of that and two of this. Look at that. Oh, this one is uh, needs water, huh? Okay, so let me repot first. So I'm gonna repot them with this. Uh, okay, this is a uh, spirit fire. Wow. Coleus. I love Coleus. They're easy to grow, but you need to trim them because or else they would be leggy. But mine, I planted last year on the ground. They grew, but they died. So they need a full sun and shade. Uh, too many. Water, medium. Okay, so... And be careful too. I noticed last year that if, if one of my pot with coleus is, doesn't uh, grow beautifully, I check and infested by mealybugs. So there you go. I repotted them already. <laughs> no, that's the old uh, pot that I got from the five dollars pot from uh, Target. So I got another type, this one and this one. So I'm gonna repot it, but uh, off camera, I'll put the uh, soil so easy. All right, how is everybody? I hope everybody's doing good. Okay, we're gonna start. Hello everyone, once again, my name is Jonah from Crops and Succulents. So you won't see me again. Probably next week because, uh, uh, you know, busy, busy, busy day. So today's video is about this Coleus, uh, the Coleus. This one is a speed fire. Here's the type, here's the label. Speed fire. Beautiful, huh? Ah, uh, correction. I'm wrong, not that one. This one. That's why you need to look good. Okay, Spitfire, Spitfire, Spitfire. Nice, huh? Nice varieties. So this one, I don't have the label. I don't know why I don't have the label. I should have, <laughs> so I can share. All right, so let me repot it based on. So I can share it to you. So as you saw, upon arrival here, last July 11, when I got them, I <laughs> I sprayed him oil, and now I will spray again because the last time last year I I lost a lot because uh, a lot of uh, mealybugs. If you see that your colleagues does uh, look so uh, not healthy. Something is wrong. Check. Check. Check their check their stems, their leaves underneath, and they have mealy bugs. I throw a lot last year. The one that survived I put on the ground last year before I think month of uh, September then by December I put on the ground they grew very well they they're very large they're so stemmer is so thick but 
when winter comes, they all die. My big mistakes, I didn't propagate. Like, uh, like what uh, Teresa said, we need to propagate them. All right, so here's the roots. I'm happy the roots are so healthy. Look at that. So tiny, but healthy. So I'm just gonna trim a little bit over here. Not trim, clean. I'm gonna there is one blogger. His name is uh, Jim Coleus. Oh his Coleus is marvelous. He can grow it and until uh, I know it's his business now since few years ago. here you can pull <laughs> some roots because they he has she has too many roots anyway don't worry they have too many roots you can remove some of the roots so take out some roots on the bottom if it's too thick or too many because you need to release because if this is close with the with the soil like this, the roots is not out. The roots will not attach to the new soil. Try it. If your plants doesn't grow, you just repot it. Check that they are that the roots is not attaching to the new soil. So if it's released like this, these roots are on the side release a little bit on the side oh, big airplane and when you take out some roots don't you worry the plants will survive because it's a healthy roots so no bugs I'm checking no bugs at all but this time I'll be more careful I need to check them at all times so that uh... okay so now we are repotting so I'll just repot one of this and one of this and then So what is Coleus? Coleus is beautiful. The one that I shared to you, the garden has a lot of Coleus. Okay, okay guys, so I'm caught with my with my, I keep talking, I didn't realize that the, that the camera is not on. So let's repeat. So it's already repotted the other one. So this is Spit 5, a Coleus. And then like I said, make sure you check your Coleus. Check over here. Especially if they don't, uh, they're not growing very well because mine last year they're all thriving until i didn't realize that they are already invaded by because i only use my name all the way back for my succulents and now i learned to utilize them okay so here we go it's beautiful foliage beautiful color speed of fire look at the roots so healthy don't you worry to trim what I do is uh, I take out this part so that it will attach to the soil so I will trim it this is sanitized scissor trim it trim some roots won't hurt the plants except if it's succulents that 
with very tiny roots of course you need to protect it's your decision but me too many too many roots anyway look at that too many roots help the roots so I need to release them or else they won't and it's so much taller here to the pot so we need to release trim and so release also some here gently on the side so I decided to just uh, two videos this week for all the ornamental plants that I that I got so I can check them as soon as possible the, uh, the arrangement can wait and what you see over there can you see my hand what you see over there are the succulents from the next gardener yeah taking care of those new babies so spray neem oil so be careful because they are easily invaded by mealybugs mealybugs love their so my protection to them is the neem oil since they are healthy okay uh, so next week i'm gonna create a succulent arrangement in a big container wherein i will put my two jungle animal miniature that i got from home depot and then they are i'm gonna utilize them in the arrangement and i'm still looking what plants i can utilize i will do a video on that too because i want to dedicate that uh, to my granddaughter she's still in philippines with her parents she's turning one year old on july 19. wow time flies quick Okay guys, let's continue. My neighbor called me. <laughs> so we talk a little bit. So let's continue. So I hope everybody's doing good. <laughs> like I said, my granddaughter She's my second granddaughter. My first granddaughter is Guyana Hope. She's, I think, 11 years old. And then the second one is J uh, Guyan Jr. My grandson, She's, uh, he is five years old. And the third one is Jonah Ellis, the youngest. So, <laughs> so beautiful, huh? Okay, let's do one more. Okay, this one. I don't know what's the name of this. Okay, so I put them already sold earlier, but I spray this one with. Uh, That's why I took out the soil. So I spray it with this one <laughs> to make it uh, look uh, better. Rustolium. Just to protect the. Okay, so this is three ninety eight, same same. Oh, it has also label, but the label also Spitfire, but color of this. I did. I thought there's no label. Okay, let's repot. So like I said, I use neem oil once I got the plants, and then on repotting. I want to utilize them again and again. So this will be premiered tomorrow. So very easy to 
they're very easy to propagate but I didn't propagate last year because they need the uh, always you need to to water or moist them okay so I'm trimming it because the roots are so thick I mean look at that so healthy anyway so there's the roots as long as you trim them by using a sanitized scissor to prevent disease, acquiring disease. That's the way plants are so sensitive. Okay, so I release the, the soil. What's the purpose? Like I said, so that when it, you put it on the pot with the soil, these roots will attach to the soil. All right. Okay. So let's read. Okay. I can wait <laughs> for Michael to come to help me here, and then the end too. He's coming here. Was delayed due to. Remember, he got hospitalized and then he's better now. He got better so quick by the grace of God. And then so the mommy of Jonah and Liz, I'm gonna, uh, like I said, I'm gonna create a an arrangement next week before the 19th and dedicate to this girl that is uh, gonna turn one year old so I'll put those uh, miniature animals it's like we're gonna make a uh, a jungle succulent arrangement <laughs> okay so this is it guys <laughs> I hope you like it and then I'll see you on the next video tomorrow the next day because this is for the 14th and then always remember that uh, my Coleus <laughs> is beautiful <laughs> always remember guys God loves you and I love you too and don't go yet because we will gonna I'm gonna share to you the the outcome and then uh, like I said uh, God loves you and I love you too and then uh, let's support each other and then let's keep gardening enjoy your garden and like I said passion my slogan, passion makes a garden and a home beautiful. Bye-bye. See you on the outcome. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.